Okay everyone, welcome to my first review of Stronghold 3. I just bought the game a day ago, uh, not immediately after it got out. Quite an expensive game, uh, $50, and uh, honestly, I am very disappointed. Um, there are a lot of good graphics, but really that's about the extent of it. So we're just going to experiment in game modes. Economic campaign, you've got military campaign, you've got a very crappy tutorial, it doesn't tell you anything. But we're going to go to a free build, and you only have two uh, uh, area types, and it's very disappointing because they are very small maps. Uh, I gave the game a 5.0 out of 10, which we are going Place here. Place your stockpile, my lord. I'll tell you a little more. I got the game paused now. Um, the game, as you can see, the graphics are pretty well great. That's a plus. I'll go ahead and go in with a negative. As you can see, Stronghold 2, there was a feature that allowed you to look into the buildings, and this one, you can't even look into them. You know, it's more like Stronghold 1. You just send your king in and out. And, um, for an example, I said the tutorial's bad. I guess this isn't really isn't a real important. First, let me go ahead and place the stockpile. It's neat, you can rotate them how you want, but that's Sight about your it. Granary, sire. Now let me build a gatehouse here. Okay, you have to double click to open and close the gatehouses. Not a big deal, you can figure that out easily, but I got the game paused again. Um, they just don't tell you what you need to know. Then I think they really needed to add details from Stronghold 2. Uh, things like public services where you have courthouses. I mean, they could have modified it and made it less painful to deal with. Because if you can read all the reviews, people say, you know, if a person turned to crime, you know, then you would have to wait until they got out of the, you know, being into the stocks or whatever before they returned to work, etc. In Stronghold 3 here, you'll notice there's not any service buildings there's not even a lord's kitchen where you can actually you know have feasts and hold honor there are honor buildings let's see right here but there isn't really anything like in stronghold 2 you're really going back to the basis of stronghold 1 which is a great game the only difference is is the graphics you're basically kind of throwing out stronghold 2 and pretending like it never happened and then you're taking everything away that was in Stronghold 2. I haven't learned how to make raids. I understand Stronghold 1, you would push F1 to uh, start a raid during free build, but apparently you can't. Let me zoom out here. Look how small this map is. This is about the extent of the maps. It's really annoying. Stronghold 2, I mean, it had a lot of bugs. This game has bugs, but Stronghold 2, the maps were huge. The graphics are slightly better in this game, and I don't understand why there's this stone all the way around it. I guess it's just kind of a border thing. It's really stupid in my mind. I am a die-hard Stronghold fan, and I love the game, so I bought it, of course. Um, even if it was a $30 game, it would still be disappointing. I'd be a little happier because it's not worth $50, but anyways you're just gonna have to decide for yourself if you're a fan get it if you're not a fan don't get it because a lot of the features that we all came to love in stronghold 2 are not going to be found in this game and um, that's about it I mean the graphics are neat they use a completely different graphic engine in this game but it's nothing like in stronghold 2 I mean it's a little different it's a little annoying to me that doesn't look like wood but it's okay let me, since I've pretty well told you what I want to tell you, I'll just go ahead and start randomly placing buildings. Here's an apple orchard. You use the mouse wheel to rotate it. And we'll place an apple orchard. And you go to industry buildings. you got a wood camp here. Zoom out. Put it along the trees. And another thing that I like about the game, listen to the audio of the people. Warning, your lordship. You got the original audio. Stronghold 2's audio was rather annoying, if you ask me. Uh, I'm going to pause again. Before we build anything else, I'll just show you a few things. We got industry buildings, food buildings, town buildings, honor buildings, military buildings, castle walls, castle towers, gates, 
castle defense, and then your repair and delete button. I haven't found a map editor mode in this game yet, so there probably isn't one, but if there is, I'll let you know. Uh, I don't think there is, which is a disappointment. We'll get the game rolling again here. You can still control your king and tell him to go where you want him. You can actually send him into the keep, but it doesn't do any good. But it is still pretty neat, all the graphics. I know I keep rambling on. Uh, you've got iron mines, and really I haven't messed with the game too much yet, but you got a lot of your basic stuff from original games. You got your quarry here, uh, pitch rig, iron mine, ox tether. You got apple orchard, dairy farm, pig farm, which is nice. You don't have to worry about going out and hunting items. Whoops. Pig farm, and then they use the pigs for meat. Hop farms, I'll place one of those. Your brewery, wheat farm, mill, there's your mill, bakery, you got your hovels, market, chandler shop, church, inn, well, apothecary, stable, engineer's guild, here's your honor buildings, hunter's posts, vegetable garden, sheep farm, tailor shop, and I don't know what this is, apiary. Can't place Whoa. that there, my lord. I guess you would have to click the question mark, it'll tell you about it. It's a beehive, so it's for your um, church. Your vineyard, I'm guessing all this stuff goes to the granary. You got punishment places, except, you know, you don't have your uh, courthouse or anything, but you can still build all these punishment things just like in Stronghold 1 but it does decrease your people's happiness and whatnot. You got entertainment buildings, statues, decorations, place shields, flags, severed heads. I wouldn't do that. Military buildings, your barracks, armory, Fletcher's workshop, pretty much all the basic stuff you've got from Stronghold 1. You got your siege camp, which comes from Stronghold 2. And for the walls, you got a few different things here. You got your wooden walls, you got your stone walls, you got your stone curtain walls. People are leaving the castle. You got your stairs, which go they won't go against the curtain walls, but they go against the regular walls. A curved uh, bastion. A small bastion. You can't place that there, my lord. A regular bastion. Squared grand and round you got your towers you got this wooden uh, tower you got the wooden platform that will go against the wall you got the lookout tower let me zoom out lookout tower a square tower round tower the royal tower and the great tower you got engine uh, an engine tower tower ballista tower mangonel Tower Harpoon Launcher, Tower Habel Launcher, you got your different gatehouses, I already showed you the wood gatehouse, here's the town gatehouse, it's not turning around where you can see it, I will, there you go, you double click, people are coming to the castle, double click on the wooden gatehouse, you got the gatehouse with, uh, the drawbridge and you got your curtain wall gate those are kind of neat along with the wood ones this is from the inside view there's the outside view you got your castle defenses and of course your repair and delete I haven't got much more to show you and I don't think there is much more to show you like I said I have submitted my game spot review for this game I give it a 5.0 probably should be lower but it's mainly because I'm a die-hard stronghold fan and um, it's not worth the money if you don't like the game don't get it so thank you for watching and I probably plan to do uh, videos of the military campaign soon